AI Book Reader will take in any PDF document, read it page by page, and accumulate knowledge from each page, like a JSON file, as you can see here. And every set interval, and at the final, uh, after all, the entire book was re uh, read, or the amount of test pages that you have specified, it actually creates a final summary of the entire knowledge that was gained from the book. In Markdown, we can view this as Markdown as well. So this can read any PDF. So this can be books or research papers. It's really up to you. Let's actually go ahead and analyze the first 100 page of the infinite, actually the meditations by Marcus Aurelius and analyzing and consolidating knowledge every 20 interval. So let's run this. When you run it, it's going to explain you the process. All you have to do is read it and press enter. Now it's going to process meditations and it's going to skip any pages that doesn't have any relevant information. And uh, as, as it is going through the pages, it's going to accumulate the knowledge from each page and actually append it to this knowledge base. And every 20 uh, iterations, it's going to go ahead and actually summarize. Uh, here, currently it's summarizing the 20, first 20 pages knowledge, and we'll be able to see it under the summaries folder. By the way, this code, source code for this is available at my Patreon. You can download it. Link will be in the description and the comment. Uh, we will be reviewing the code though shortly. Here, we have generated our first uh, knowledge analysis. So this is pretty useful. So you can allow the AI to read the entire book, generate a complete knowledge uh, database from that book, which you can use to chat with it. If you like, you also get a, a summary. So you can actually summarize an entire book or research papers in this fashion. So this is how it works, uh, and you can download this from my Patreon, but now we will be reviewing the code, but I build a script, which actually is a code explainer. So I'm going to use that to explain the code. If you like how this is explained, do let me know, please, in the comments. And you can also download the AI code explainer from my Patreon as well. Link for that will be in the description and the comments as well. As you can see, it is still ongoing. It's at page 50, and we have actually done the second iteration of the full summary, but our uh, entire knowledge base is growing with each page, as you can see. Okay, now let's move on to the code review. This snippet sets the stage for the whole script, establishing essential libraries and core functionality. The myriad of imports caters from file handling via pathlib, to constructing the heavyweight models via OpenA. PyMU PDF, listed as FITS, is our tool of choice for PDF file manipulation, while term color spices up the textual output with colored print statements. We then dive into setting up some constants that the script depends on, such as naming conventions and directory structures. Consider these constants as the rules of the game, dictating where files are stored and the names used to identify critical data during processing. Additionally, the page content class is introduced, leaning on the pedantic base model. This little gem is built for clarity when parsing data, ensuring that we maintain an organized collection of page information. It's like Marie Kondo for PDF content, only keeping what's absolutely essential. These functions handle the loading and saving of the knowledge base. Think of load or create knowledge base like a cautious librarian checking if a book is already on the shelf or if they need to start a fresh collection. If the file exists, it reads and loads the existing data, else it initializes an empty dictionary ready to be filled with new insights. Saving the knowledge base with Save Knowledge Base ensures that all precious nuggets of wisdom are securely stored as a JSON file. It's like hitting save after pouring your soul into a Word document. This segment processes each page of the PDF. It's the hard-working bee-gathering knowledge nectar from each page flower. The process page function communicates with the OpenAI model, invoking its natural language magic to parse page content. Pages identified as unimportant, like copyright information, are swiftly skipped over. The function analyzes each page, checking for valid content, and either skips it or extracts juicy academic jewels in the form of knowledge points. 
These points are accumulated into the current knowledge list for every processed page, which is then saved using the trusty save knowledge base function. It's all about keeping the process running smooth and error-free, like a well-oiled machine. This function acts like the Sherlock Holmes of knowledge delving into existing data to deduce what knowledge points have already been collected. Load existing knowledge checks if a prior knowledge file exists, effectively avoiding duplicating effort. If found, it reads the file, returning an array of documented knowledge points. Every piece of knowledge is precious, so this function ensures no wisdom is unnecessarily forgotten or overwritten. This function is the grand finale of knowledge processing. Analyze Knowledge Base converts accumulated knowledge into a markdown formatted summary, effectively transforming raw knowledge into polished insights. The function uses the OpenAI model to produce a summary, replete with markdown dazzling like a pre-order honor roll. By formatting the information using markdown, the summary is not just efficient and clear, but ready for publication on any tech-friendly platform. It's the icing on the cake for our PDF analysis, turning digital page nutrition into gourmet understanding. The setup directories function lays the foundation, setting up the necessary directories and ensuring the required PDF file is snugly in its place. It begins by clearing previous files from directories, maintaining a pristine working environment like a programmer's version of spring cleaning. Then, it creates the needed directories for PDFs, knowledge bases, and summaries laid out like neat folders on a desktop. If the crucial PDF is missing, it checks its presence and ensures it's placed correctly. Otherwise, it raises a red flag. This function is akin to a stage manager ensuring everything's set before the performance begins. With Save Summary, we're neatly boxing up insights. This function writes summaries to markdown files, assigning meaningful names based on whether the summary is final or just an interval update. If there's no content to save, it wisely skips, avoiding empty tomes in our digital library. Once prepared, the markdown payload is written out with all the finesse of a great novel, complete with timestamps and inspiring quotes. This segment quietly ensures that polished analyses aren't vaporware, but securely documented achievements. The beating heart of this whole shebang lies within main, orchestrating the execution from start to finish. Before the magic starts, Print Instructions gives users a friendly heads up, detailing what's expected for them to come along on this analytical adventure. Main kicks off by setting up the directories, initializing an OpenAI client, and loading existing knowledge or starting fresh if none exists. It then opens the PDF document, ready to digest specified number of pages, test pages variable. This loop chugs along page by page, calling various functions to process and analyze as it goes. Along the way, checkpoint summaries are created at intervals with a final summary at the end. Once all is done, a triumphant complete message is displayed, like winning first place in the marathon of data analysis. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. Right now, listen to me. I've been trying to toad, and you know, like I like toading. The fact that I can code and make things happen, but how do I do it? I mean, fast with AI. I heard about it. It's easy. So, um, I came across Thousand X Cursor course. And that's great, you know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, Thousand X, you're coding. 